everybody. I just wanted to touch base with you guys about the Sedona Cosmic Awakenings Conference going on next month at the end of April on Earth Day weekend. While I'm talking, I'll just show you guys this beautiful nature. I'm around all these trees. Actually, I don't know what kind of tree that is. It reminds me of cherry blossoms, but I'm pretty sure that's not a cherry tree. Maybe it's a dogwood. I don't know. South Carolina is gorgeous and these pines. Anyways, so the Cosmic Awakenings Conference is put on by some homies of mine who are kind of cosmic wizards, multidimensional folks, planetary guardians. They go around activating ancient spots of the planet. Um, a lot of them make organite and pyramids and stuff and do soul retrieval work and energy healing. Speaking of, here's my little panther baby. Hi! You want to say hi to the people? Say hi to the YouTubers? <laughs> She's so awesomely blase. I just love her. It's an inspiration to me. <laughs> Anyways, um, so this is the first conference of its kind, and there are going to be a lot of cool people at it, and I'm going to be doing a couple things at it. First, I'm going to be teaching a workshop. Well, actually, it's second, but I'm teaching one on Sunday, which is going to essentially be connecting you with, um, with your guides and maybe new guides in 5d which is those of you guys who are into the whole extraterrestrial ascension um ascended masters that angelic frequency paradigm are familiar with that but for those of you guys who don't know one of the ways of looking at the way this universe is made kind of like it's like a book with pages right it's like a it none of them are better or worse they're just different slices and you can look at it as dimensions like like you learned in geometry one dimension is a point two dimensions is a line three dimensions is a triangle so it makes it um, solid and then four dimensions is time etc cetera, etc cetera. well you can also look at that from a standpoint of a kind of anthropomorphication which is you you put personalities and and um, Mm, souls and egos there because they exist too and so those of us whose mind translates it that way we see beings and we communicate with beings and not everyone does this you know some people's intuition works in numbers some people's works in sounds music harmonics some people in the flow of energy some people all of it you know but one of my favorite ways is by contacting the beings that lives in, live in these places and for me 5d has been really huge lately because I'm learning how to do things like live on prana, which is a whole other subject, and that's a technology from there. I'm, um, I've been sun gazing for quite a few years, the seven years now, and that's a technology from there. And also there are beings coming in from there, talking lately and, um, and wanting to connect. And also it's a very, very loving, healing, amazing place. There's no, nothing, I've never seen anything scary or, or challenging in that way come out of 5D. 5D is pretty much all love and light, pure, pure, through and through. So, that said, on Sunday I'm teaching a workshop and connecting you guys with that. All right, great. And on Friday, I'm speaking with my homie and soul brother, Alexander Mazone, who makes amazing ascended pieces for you to wear that heal you and up your frequency and everything, and who also does energy healing and soul retrieval. We've done amazing work bef together before. He has assisted me with some crazy stuff in ways that I... Um, that I have not seen surpassed and we've also had fun like going through the dimensions and doing lots of cool stuff like that it's so much fun to play with wizards you know so he and I are teaching together well have giving a talk together on what it's like to have extraterrestrial contact as a normal way of life is nothing that's like oh my gosh it's so amazing yeah that's how it always is at first but then once you integrate it what is it like what is a life like where you're used to talking to ETs where it's a normal thing. It doesn't have to be a freak out thing. You can have a normal career and do it too. You can get all your business done and do it too. It doesn't have to really dislodge you from this world. And so what our talk is on is how to how we integrate it and advice and also Q&A if you guys have questions. I mean, we pop into other realms all the time. So if you want to know stuff, come because we will tell you. And so the Cosmic Awakenings Conference is in Sedona. I'm going to endeavor, we'll see if I actually do it, to start having some interviews on my channel with a few different people who are going to be there to give you guys a wider slice of pie of what it's going to be like there. Um, let's see, it's going to be the weekend of April 21st, I guess, 21st and 22nd. And um, hmm, what else, what else, what else? Uh, just to close it out, I'm also planning to do a workshop with 
a beautiful soul sister and mad powerful shaman in Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee on May 6th and planning a spa retreat in Raleigh June 22nd and looking at a New York workshop in July potentially and prepping out for Burning Man and this year is going to be just so good. Okay. Sending you guys lots of love from South Carolina. Okay. And there's more of these beautiful trees for you. And may you have an amazing weekend and may everything work out better than you expect. Sending lots of love. Bye.